welcome back here to the channels super Academico and tapa olho azul with one more video about movies today i'm going to comment some well, i'm going to comment the same movie but with several different names the movie is the seven samurais a uh, classic a uh, movie made by akira kurosawa uh, movie maker, uh, Japanese movie maker, very famous, very very notorious, a very known artist in the in the cinema, in the in the global cinema. And the, this is story is very simple, actually. Is the story of a village that is threatened by criminals, and they hire some heroes uh, some some mercenaries to fight for them and in the in the way they have to learn with the the mercenaries how to fight for themselves is a story about uh, how to overcome your fear your personal fears né, as a, 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 a weak awakening group of people to fight for themselves so the seven samurais are hired for that uh, for this 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 intent to protect a village it's very simple it's very very common and very relatable uh, anyone can relate to that s story uh, you have heroes that are higher uh, higher in, in the sense that they are they they work for money they and they are heroes but they're not s uh, selfless heroes they're selfish heroes and in the way of course they learn how to collaborate with the, the people of the village and become real heroes eh? and the, the, the story is very universal and each hero represents uh, a part of the human condition uh, the courage the the the, the fear uh, the the funny and uh, the one the talents the silence the all the kind of different aspects of the the, the hero face as joseph campbell always says they have to go to the same path but in a different ways but uh, this the path is the same the path of the hero so uh, i'm going to comment not only the story but the fact that this story is so universal that is often repeated copy and reference in so many different ways so the seven samurai the original seven samurai is a japanese movie made by akira kurosawa in the 50s i think 50s in the 50s in the 60s already the americans made the western version of the story with the magnificent seven in portuguese seven men and one destiny <laughs> in portuguese the, the translation is something like that and it was starred by will brinner and steve mcqueen and other actors uh, i think charles bronson charles bronson is this movie and vince vaughn vince vaughn is the movie too i don't know the others but is the story is the same it's the same story always a village is threatened by criminals and they hire heroes mercenaries mercenary heroes and they train the people in the village to defend themselves so they end up relating to the village and becoming hero heroes the in the village the people of the village learn how to defend themselves and become self-confident and something like that and uh they're all the, the 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 training scenes is always the same it's so funny it's so funny that people that don't know these movies they don't see that the training scenes are always the same in the 70s there is this version a space version of the seven samurais it's called battle beyond the stars in portuguese is uh in Mer mercenaries of the galaxy galaxy mercenaries something like that we we translate the movies differently 
at the time. It's it's funny how to uh, get the trans the Portuguese translations, the Portuguese versions, and translate into English. It's very funny. Uh, for example, there's the movie uh, Airplane, uh, 78, 79 movie, comedy movie, Airplane. <laughs> In Portuguese, the name is Brazilian Portuguese. Right? Is the name is uh, Buckle Your Seatbelt. The pilot has gone missing. <laughs> that that's the title of the movie Airplane. Here, so in Be Battle Beyond the Stars is a version where the same thing happened. As I said, uh, a village, but in this case, not a village, but a planet is threatened by a criminal. Uh, big criminal from the, the, the stars, the, the space, and so they go uh, to, uh, to other planets to hire some mercenary heroes to defend them, so they end up learning to defend themselves. Some of the heroes die, some others become like a part of the, of the community, but the story is the same. The same. Uh, one fun thing about this story is that that is uh, not only a, a, a copy of Seven Samurais, but it's always uh, uh, it's also always on also a, a copy uh, ripoff of Star Wars. The the producer, the famous producer uh, Roger Corman, he saw the opportunity as he always saw seen to copy the, the success of Star Wars and make this this rip off Battle Beyond the Stars. But the story, so you don't have to be very creative with the story, it's just in space because of Star Wars, is the the story of Seven Samurais. You, you can count, eh? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's always seven. But the number changes in the 80s version. In the 80s, there was this movie, The Three Amigos. Three Amigos. Uh, the, in Portuguese, the same thing. Uh, three Friends. Eh? Three Friends. The three Amigos. Amigos is Spanish. Uh, it's the same story again, but it's a comedy with this uh, famous. Uh, comedy actors uh, Chevy Chase, Steve Martin, and Martin Short. They are not real heroes. They are actors, action actors of the the silent er era of the movies, of movies, and they are hired as hero, as he, as he, as they were heroes by a village that is threatened by a criminal. So they 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 go to the the village. And so they learn that the, 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 the thing is real, it's not a movie, and they, they end up helping the village to defend themselves. The same thing just is, is a comedy, so they, they, put, uh, they took the mercenary thing, they changed to actors thing. There is the, the, the Pixar version of that with the, the movie Bugs Life. Bugs Life is the same story. You have the, the, the ants that hire some heroes, but actually they are actors to defend the 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 ants. Uh, I don't know the name. The ant village. The ant. And so they end up helping the village to defend itself. It's the same story. Always the same story. Nobody seems to notice that. There is the most recent version of the. Magnificent Seven. It's that's a remake of this one. This is the original Western, and this is the remake of the original Western, which is a copy of the original samurai movie of the 50s. So then, in this recent version, you have Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, uh, Ethan Hawke, some others that I don't remember the actors. I think the, the, the actor that plays that plays the Kingpin in the Marvel movies, uh, he is in the movie too. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio and others I don't know. I don't remember. So the story is the same thing, it's just more more updates. Uh, the hero is black, so you have more representation, you have 
uh, Chinese and in, in, Indians, uh, natives, Native Americans. Uh, we have uh, we have all the same teams of the same uh, of the same uh, characters, uh, place in different positions, but doing the same thing representing the path of the hero as always uh, in the sense that they are always trying to overcome his problems their problems overcome uh, the, the fact that they are mercenary for hire or they have something to to uh, overcome uh, to, to be uh, over their problems like the Ethan Hawk character uh, he has a PTSD uh, he, 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 he doesn't want to to kill anymore but he's hired to kill people so it's a very embarrassing thing that he has to shoot him and in the 60s version the character that would be like the same character the, the, the same spirit he's is he's held as a coward he doesn't doesn't kill doesn't fight because he's a coward he's just a poser something like that is the this 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 Vaughn character. Funny thing, Vince Vaughn is always also in in the B Battle Beyond the Stars. He is one of the mercenaries. He's the, this one. But in this, he's not a coward. He's just a super rich mercenary that you, uh, wants a place to rest. <laughs> That's uh, a way to represent things. And there is the most recent version in the sci-fi universe is the Mandalorian episode where the the story the same story is repeated. Eh? There is a crim a criminals that threat a, a village that's not a that, that that's that's populated by but not fighter people. So they hire the Mandalorian and eh? Mando to to defend them so they are trained to defend themselves here in the scene you see uh the the the, the colleague of the, the mandalorian training the people and as i said the training the training scenes are always the same here there is a version of the seven samurais be uh, training the population to fight for themselves one fun thing that's uh, the creators of the Mandalorian, uh, John Favreau and, and Dave Filoni, they refer the episode as the Seven Samurai episode that was directed by Dallas Bryce Howard, what, which is a, a very good episode, very nice, very well done, but uh, it's the same story as I said. So in, in, in Hollywood, in, in storytelling in, in many ways, the the stories just repeat themselves indefinitely. Just uh, you create the same thing. It's very hard to create something uh, really different. Uh, just to to end the video, uh, one more example that uh, of this ripoff thing between between genders, eh? between genders. Uh, there is the similarities between since I spoke about the Mandalorian the similarities between the the man with no name the character of Clint Eastwood in the Sergio Leone's movies and the the Boba Fett the Mandalorian himself uh, the, the the first Mandalorian uh, as I speak Mandalorian is a different character of the Boba Fett and both are ripoffs of the samurai, the samurai, the fi samurai figure that is a, a lonely samurai, a, a ronin that has no master, a samurai with no master that gets in a place where there is a war, where there is a conflict between two factions, and he starts to play with these factions so he can make money from both factions. These are, are pictures of the three movies three characters, the, the samurai, the lonely samurai, samurai, the man with no name by Clint Eastwood and the version in the 30s, in the, the probation times with Bruce Willis, uh, which is a great movie, very violent movie, but it's the same thing. You have the 
uh, uh, not hero, more like an anti-hero that wants to take advantage of the conflict, conflict situation to make money from both sides and, and that getting to be a hero by helping mostly a woman, some, someone that's supposed to be fragile, but can be a child, can be a pet, <laughs> like in John Wick. But it's funny that uh, it's always repeated, the teams and the heroes and the faces change, but it's the, same, the thing is the same, the same emotions, the same things that are appropriate by the filmmakers just to entertain and produce their art. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is the video for today. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe the channels. Uh, thank you to the newer subscribers to the both channels keep watching keep sharing the videos so people can enjoy and anything you can do can comment and search for more videos in our channels thank you till next time